Tony, my boy. Tony. Wake up! Ah, what is it, film fan? Today is the day, my boy. Today's the day. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, you know what it is. You have to see... The Boss Baby. Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, yes. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> oh. Oh, my God. It was only a nightmare. Oh, okay. Oh, man. Must have passed down a lyrum last night. Oh, okay. Well, on the bright side, I never actually saw the bus, baby. Uh-oh. What's in my pocket? Hey there everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review The Boss Baby. So The Boss Baby is directed by Kendall Butoy, who actually directed The Rescuers Down Under and segments of Fantasia 2000, and Tom McGrath, who is the voice of Skipper the Penguin and the Madagascar movies, written by Michael McCullers, who wrote the Austin Powers sequels and Baby Mama, and the film does have the voice talents of Alec Baldwin, Jimmy Kimmel, Lisa Kudrow, Steve Buscemi, and Tobey Maguire. So the Boss Baby is about little Tim. He is enjoying life with his parents. He loves the fact that he could just be the only child not having to deal with a brother. And then on one random day, the parents bring home this baby that wears a suit and carries a briefcase, only for Tim to find out that this baby actually talks. And the reason this baby is here is because he has to take care of some mission to stop the puppies because there's a battle between the babies and the puppies because the puppies are getting more attention. So if Tim wants to get rid of the boss baby, he and the boss baby, they have to team up to take care of this puppy situation. So the boss baby, if you guys know, I was not looking forward to it. And you know that with a lot of DreamWorks animated films, I look forward to them because I personally do love DreamWorks Animation Studios. But when I saw the trailer for The Boss Baby, I was baffled. I was completely baffled. But of course, when I went to The Boss Baby, I went in with an open mind. Oh, but I hate to say it, The Boss Baby is a really bad movie. Uh, I'm pretty speechless. I am pretty speechless right now because this movie was a disaster. It's a mess. Now, I will give credit where credit is due. There are certain positives I was able to find with the Boss Baby. The animation does look very nice. While it's not one of DreamWorks' best animations out there, I do think it's overall pretty solid. The voice cast, I thought, did a good job with this film, too. They're doing what the script tells them, and as far as like how the voice matches the personalities of the characters, I thought it did flow very well. Alec Baldwin, he does a very good job as the Boss Baby. I actually think he is the best voice actor. I'll get into how I feel about the character later on, but as far as what Alec Baldwin had to do, you know, the lines that are given to him, you could tell he was having fun. I think out of everyone the voice cast, Alec Baldwin was having the most fun with this role. You could tell he wasn't phoning it in. You could tell that he wanted to have fun. And, you know, Alec Baldwin, I think he has a good relationship with DreamWorks at this point, since he has also done voice work for Madagascar Escape to Africa and Rise of the Guardians so it's not the first time he's done voice work for a DreamWorks movie and you could tell that he wants to embrace being the boss baby and he was a lot of fun 
definitely. I thought the kid that voiced little Tim, I thought he did a very good job. Jimmy Kimmel and Lisa Kudrow, they voiced uh, the parents, and I thought their voice work for the parents are very good. Steve Buscemi's voice work for CEO of the Puppy Co. I thought he did good. And Tobey Maguire, he did a good job narrating this film. It's very interesting to see him do an animated movie. So I thought he did a good job with the narration, to be honest. The movie actually uses old songs, really, like very old school songs. In the opening credits, when you see the babies at the factory, they actually use a song from the 1930s in that opening credits. And it's sung by Fred Astaire, which I thought was really cool. The fact that they use a 1930s song in the opening credits with the babies in the factory, I thought that was very cool. And the opening credits itself, I'm not gonna lie, I did like that. As well as Hans Zimmer's score. Hans Zimmer, as always, composes very good scores. There are some moments where I did laugh, not a whole lot, but some of the times I will say that the humor did work. And I'll say, I thought the ending was actually cute. I really wasn't angry for the last seven to six minutes of the movie. It was cliche, it was predictable, I knew where it was going, but I wasn't hating watching it. It was cute. I did like where the movie ended. I'll give credit where credit is due. And that's all I can really say for the boss baby because everything else I hated about this movie. First of all, this movie is so bizarre. It's really, really bizarre. You go so back and forth with the imagination to reality. It was just really distracting to me. Now I will say, I forgot to mention this also in the positives. I will say when you cut to the imagination scenes and it has different animation styles, I did like that. But I felt like how the movie was cutting back between, oh, Tim and the babies talking to like when we see the parents' point of view where the babies are just normal. That was very distracting though. And I just found the editing there to be so lazy. That's the thing about this film. It just felt so lazy. And I know there was passion into this film. I know the filmmakers actually were passionate about this movie and I respect that, but just as far as what I saw on screen, I just felt it was a very lazy movie. I thought the movie was actually very annoying, specifically from the boss baby. Although Alec Baldwin did seem like he was having a lot of fun, I was not a fan of the boss baby character. He got on my nerves. I could not stand this character and I love how the movie just wants you to feel for this character because there is a backstory and I could see where this character is coming from once they reveal his backstory but I just wasn't caring because of how unlikable this character is so the emotion in the boss baby even feels forced besides the ending I could not buy into any sort of heart emotion that this film tries to deliver because at least with the ending it felt more pure it felt more charming but any other scene that attempted to be heartwarming and all that it just didn't work it was actually pretty painful for me and you guys know me with anime movies i can buy into heart I, even in not so good anime movies i can normally buy into heart but even with a crappy animated movie like The Boss Baby, I couldn't even buy the heart besides say for the last seven minutes of the movie. It wasn't executed well. And they don't even last long enough for you to feel. When they want you to feel, it doesn't even last that long. Like let's just say there's a certain conflict with Tim and The Boss Baby. It takes place in an airport. I'm not gonna spoil anything. But literally, they have a little argument Time fast forwards, one minute or two minutes later, they talk, okay, they resolve their problems and now they have to go take care of a certain situation that happens in the third act. And I can't believe some of the stuff that was even in this film. There's a lot of jokes that I was surprised that were even in this film. Cause I'm all like, some of these jokes don't really belong in a family film. And the film, uh, you know, for what I got, the message is that the corporate is always good. The corporate is always wonderful. And no 
that's not the case. That's not a good message to tell kids that the corporate is always wonderful. That just felt so out of place in my opinion. The parents weren't anything special. They were just your cliched parents that don't believe their child. That's all they're there for. I really did not care for the parents. And as if the movie wasn't unbearable enough, once you meet Steve Buscemi's character. And I really don't want to spoil too much about him because they really don't show Steve Buscemi in the trailers. So I'm guessing DreamWorks want to keep it a surprise. So I'm not going to go too much into Steve Buscemi. I'm going to say once you meet his character, the movie somehow got worse. This was already a bad movie, but it got worse when Steve Buscemi came into the picture. The boss baby doesn't even know what kind of movie it is. It doesn't know if it wants to be a movie aimed for kids, it doesn't know if it wants to be a movie aimed for adults, or just strictly both. This movie really does not know what demographic it's aimed for. It's so confusing for that reason. I'm so confused because all these jokes that they attempt for the adults, even the adult jokes for the most part, don't work. And speaking of the comedy, since ironically I haven't even gotten to that yet, the comedy is so forced. The execution of it is just really awkward and it really made me cringe to be honest. I was actually cringing watching this film. I was scratching my head watching this film and worst of all this movie gave me a headache. I'm serious. By the time the movie hit to its end credits, I had a bad headache because I could only follow so much crap that is on screen. Look what's behind me. Look what's behind me. The SpongeBob movie sponge out of water. That's a bizarre animated movie, but it was a good kind of bizarre. The Boss Baby is bizarre, but it's not the good kind of bizarre because the way they execute the bizarre scenes, it wasn't well executed. It feels incredibly choppy and it just comes off as awkward. When I go into an animated movie, I want to feel happy. I want to feel good. I didn't really feel good watching this. Okay, the ending, like I said, because I didn't hate seeing through it, I actually did feel good watching the ending, but the majority of this movie made me angry, made me depressed. It was a shallow animated movie. And that's what drove me absolutely nuts. Oh, and speaking of Tim and the boss baby, there's no chemistry between them. I can't buy these two as these brothers that care for each other. Even when later on in the movie they start to have more of a bond because that's not a spoiler. You can predict later on down the movie that they're going to bond more, but there's not really, maybe a couple of times I semi bought into their brotherly bond, but that's really just a couple of semi moments. The majority of this movie, I could not buy into their relationship whatsoever. And where they head with the third act is some of the most questionable stuff I've seen in an anime movie. Like, what? was that third act. Overall, the Boss Baby, while it does have good animation, good voice work, some funny moments, good use of old school songs, this movie as a whole is a complete disaster. I was infuriated. I was actually infuriated and depressed. Infuriated because the concept was so stupid, the overall story was just a complete mess, and depressed because I can't believe that this is a DreamWorks animated film when they clearly show, they have clearly have shown that they have done better animated movies. It's predictable, it's cliched as heck, and the movie was so boring too. I was so bored for a movie that's only like an hour and a half. This is one of DreamWorks' worst films by far. Oh, I'm giving the Boss Baby one and a half out of four stars. 
So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about the Boss Baby. And I would also have to thank FilmFan0599 for being in my intro for the Boss Baby. He's a very cool dude. He has a great channel. If you guys want to check out his channel, I will leave a link in the description down below. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power. Till the end of time.